Mmm, delicious beef vindaloo. And a cute boo, too. Get an internet. Uh, let's see, where we last left off, we finished Sector 4? Yeah, we just finished up Sector 4. So we are on to the next sector on our ship. We either are going to go to an Engi controlled sector or a regular civilian controlled sector. They're both considered civilian sectors, so they should be roughly equivalent to each other. Maybe. Um, we seem to be going on like an upper scheme, so let's go with the Engi controlled sector. Besides, we just came through a civilian one. You arrived in Engi space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for the aquatic life form, but they're usually willing to help. Um, so Engi, like Big B over here, Big B's hand. Anyway, Engi are either in partially organic or not at all organic, but they're effectively um, robots who could repair really fast, and that's really their only ability. They're probably the worst of the various species that you can have on your ship now that humans have been buffed. But it's not bad. And Engi ships are unique. They're kind of like the Borg if the Borg were very friendly. So let's go ahead and take a look at our star map. This is a distress signal right away. That's good to know. Um, I'm thinking we might want more engine power. I'm going to be a little conservative on that. I'm only going to buy up one engine power because we need to save up money for a cloaking device if we can. That would be ideal for our ship. I would like to be in our ideals. Right now, our ship is going to have some problems when it comes to anything that we can't kill in one salvo. That's going to start happening soon. So let's go to the distress signal. Wait, I thought... Had... Oh, we didn't pick up the um, beacon. For some reason, I thought we did. Well, um, go to the stress signal. What is it, boo? You arrive at a smoldering Engi research station. It's distress all unanswered. That's why pirates are mantis, most likely. Maybe some le someone left alive, or something else of value left on board. Board the station. You say, send an away team to investigate, but there's nothing save for the acidic stench of burnt Enki parts. The place is dead. That sucks. But there's a store! The wrist scrap hours. Or weapons for you! About to raise the shields when you realize it's just an Enki trader looking for a trade. Alright. Chain aisle. Now, let's see. We've got an ion bomb, which we have in our inventory. We have a stun bomb, which we also have in our inventory. There's chain ion, which requires three power. That's not very cheap. But basically, it, every time that you fire, it increases its damage. It's probably not worth it for us. We do have cloaking as an option now. We have a Zoltan shield bypass that allows us to teleport or bomb through a Zoltan shield. Don't need to worry about that in my mind. Explosive Replicator, where missiles have a 50% chance of not using a missile. Because we fire 50% more missile per missile, obviously. And a drone recovery arm, which we definitely don't need. We can buy a clone bay, which swaps out our med bay. Since we're not boarding, there's literally no advantage to having a clone bay in my mind, other than some extra blue text event. We could pick up drone control. But we're picking up cloaking. Because we're picking up cloaking. I don't care, we're picking up cloaking. Um, go ahead and buy some more fuel. Three per fuel is fine. Uh, I'm going to leave our hull. Yeah, I'll go up to 25. Okay. Jump again? We only have one place we can go. Oh, I probably should have looked at that. Shouldn't Please tell me it's not a dead end. It's not a dead end. Because sometimes there could be a dead end in one of these paths, and then you go, well, I'm boned. Not a dead end. A dead end. You inform a nearby station of your flight from the rebels. They offer to outfit your ship with a weapon and wish you well. 
an anti-bio beam. So these are beam weapons that do no damage to the room, but it rips through crew like butter. I think that's not a terrible idea since we have a pre-igniter and flak. Mm -mm. Makes me wonder if I should upgrade weapons one more time. How much further can I upgrade weapons? Twice, although it's going to be very expensive. This will do for now. Yeah, so the anti-bio beam will do zero damage to the ship itself. That means that it's now viable for us to kill all the crew on the ship, whereas it wasn't before. I didn't jump to the location. See? Thinking ship in vicinity, seeing you jumped armed to the teeth, immediately broadcast its surrender. Subject all wealth, thinking motivation, survival, transfer of goods acceptable. Um, no, we're being nice. So you can actually just go, I accept your surrender and just take their goods. We're being nice. So I'm going to explain that we're friendly. They seem relieved and eager to get underway. They set off without saying goodbye. So there's a chance they can give you something for this. But also, when you accept their terms of surrender, there's a chance that bad things happen. I am being nice this run because this is an easy run anyway. I will let most people go. The area looks clear, and you prepare to jump off, but a Mantis Scout jumps in behind you. They're as surprised as you are, but the weapons are already online. Oh boy. So, we need to... I'm going to Ion Bomb... Shields. Hit Weapon. And then beam the crap out of them. Oh, hey, look, they're dead. <laughs> Ship explodes, leaving behind the same collection of useful scrap material. All right, we actually have enough now. We're on the anti bio beam. think I want to go this route? I don't know. Anti-bio beam is one of those newer weapons, and I'm less familiar with how awesome it's going to be. I mean, I'm not going to be able to destroy ships anywhere near that fast, but I think, think that it's a good plan for taking out full enough. I kind of want to make sure I have one more. What is your speed? Sixteen second charge. Twenty two second charge for the iron bomb. I think I'd rather have the iron bomb. Well, we'll just do that for now. A bit of a waste of scrap for the time being, because I might not keep the die bio beam, but number of merchant ships passing through the area despite the threat of Mantis invasion. No doubt interested in buying the efficient technology of the A whole lot of nothing in this sector so far, eh? Okay, exit has to be grabbed from here. What appeared to be a single damaged ship is actually is in fact two ships that have smashed into each other. There's a flurry of comm signals and damage, and it's hard to determine what happened, what occurred. The vessels appear to be angry. Look locked together by the impact and can't free themselves. We could attempt to help the ships by prying them apart. Ignore the damaged vessels. However, because we have Enki crew, we have blue text option. Have your Enki crew member hail the vessel and assess the damage. Your Enki crew member refuses. In a halting use of adjectives and nouns, followed by some animated holographic aids, the Enki explains that the ships are using each other to, well, loosely translated, achieve a union. For some reason, this consolidation of ship matter sounds embarrassing and personal. The ships are having sex. You elect to leave the two Engi ships to their business. After questioning your Engi crew member, however, you do manage to salvage what scrap parts you can from the perimeter. Even though you look slight, you feel slightly dirty from doing so. We gained six fuel, four missiles, and twenty-nine scrap. Nice. 
Really hope I can sell off some missiles. I have way too many now. No shops. <coughs> I'm going to go up there. Sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected people. Or else it's trying to avoid notice. Oh. They're relieved to hear from you. They're running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. Ten fuel for four of my missiles. That sounds perfect. I don't think I need to buy fuel for the rest of this. Fine. All right. Let's hit those three and then the exit. Hopefully I'm not miscalculating. As soon as you jump into the system, you hear a hail from a nearby civilian Enki vessel. Your captain appears on your screen. Strange bug. Can you assist in debugging? Sure. Listen to your problem. Found malfunctioning mantis. Leaves it as human. Will receive input only from human. Ninja evaluation extremely high. Provide assistance. We can either send a shuttle away to uh, with an away team to help. Leave them because a cornered mantis is too dangerous. Or send your human crew member to communicate with... I've never seen blue text for human before. This is new with the expansion. I played far more of FTL prior to Advanced Edition. The Mantis is grateful to see another human and introduces himself as Robert Smith. He explains that he's from a nearby human colony and would appreciate being returned there. Return him home. The colony is a mining operation that specializes in FTL fuel. Robert's family, the head engineers, are excited to see him and are very grateful for his return. Apparently he ran away to join the Federation like his older brother, who was never accepted onto a ship. So, we can either offer him a position on our ship, which would give us a Mantis, which... Mantis are extremely good at combat, like hand-to-hand -hand combat. We can ask him to take a look at our engines. I'd like them to take a look at our engines, because we have seven crew members. We can have one more, but I don't feel like we need one more. Whereas, upgrading engines by one for free is great, because our engine costs are already really high to upgrade. So I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay. You arrive and your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and have tried to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational as you move to attack. Well, too bad I'm also a hacksor. Your hacking system automatically counters the digital assault and you move in to fight the ship. But if you didn't notice, our engines were all the way down to one before. Um, now they're back up to normal, which is nice. All right, it's time to try out our B. How do I want to do this? I'm actually not concerned about their weaponry. that way. Like that. Yeah, our hacking is down at the moment. Do that. Look for a bit. So now they can't target us, and their weapons aren't charging at all. They're repairing things, but that's fine, because I'm working on my anti-bio beam. Our cloak is not very fast, for reference. Forget how long that be. Oh, we blew up one of them. Probably just black. With the pirate ship disabled, your engines come online again. You salvage what you can from their ship. So we killed all the people on the ship without actually having to board the ship. 
and we didn't destroy their ship, so as a result we have better salvage. Notice that the scrap is much higher than what we were getting before, and we got even more fuel. We really don't need, but that's okay. All right. Um, there is not a store there. I am going to... I'm 12 off of being able to upgrade this one. Right. I'd really like to upgrade it one more time so I can throw everything online, and that would be awesome. But we will have to get scrap at the next jump, hopefully. Yep, we will. All right. You overhear Mantis comm chatter. Negative. I've killed four humans. You gulp noticeably, but luckily they don't see you yet. So we could actually just remain hidden with our blue text, but I'm feeling gutsy. I'm going to blow them up. Ion bomb their shields. Black cannon their weapons. Pair halberd beam. Yeah, I'm just going to destroy it. Die. One fuel, one drone part, 46 scrap. Now let's do that. All four weapons online. Oh, this is going to suck for the enemy. You arrived at the Long Range Beacon. You have to yell, by this charge, you can jump to the next sector. You find a small space station that appears to be abandoned. You approach cautiously, but you detect no danger. Here's have been a small rest stop that was abandoned a while ago. You take what few supplies you can find. Always take more scrap. Thank you very much. Now we are going to the Mantis-controlled sector. So any sectors and Mantis centered sectors are usually neighboring each other. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that is known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your plate... Hull plating is up to scratch, and that you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. I think we're fine on fuel. We have a distress signal and a store. Hit the distress signal, go there, then there, then down there. We have plenty of fuel. Alright, you arrive at the Distress Beacon, near a small asteroid belt, and find a ship with pirate markings, partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining in the belt without proper equipment. We can try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks. This usually destroys the ship. We can destroy and loot the ship. This usually destroys the ship. Or we can carefully cut the ship out with our blue text, which we're going to do. You use your beam to make a few precision cuts in the asteroid. The ship gives a quick burst of thrust, and the rock crumbles away. They thank you and offer some of the resources they have collected. We have even more fuel, but more importantly, hit there, then go down to the store. Because I can use some weapon upgrades. Up. Oh. Who knows why the Mantis would venture so close to a sun? Perhaps it's for more of a challenge. They have three fields. So, we are close, too close to a star. What will happen is that a solar flare will come up and light the ship on fire. Shields will reduce the effect, and if I remember right, our shields will reduce it by quite a bit, but not zero. On the plus side, we have all the things. They're having some issues. They have one population point left. What I'm going to do is wait until everything else is done. Bring Halberd Beam offline. 
clock as much power as I can to the that actually as much power as I can to the entrance we need it I'm gonna ion bomb their shields again and then finish off the engine Uh, bio beam. Bye bye. The crew dead. You're able to take the fuel out of storage. You also take all the scrap you can manage. Okay. Um, okay. So the reason why I'm arranging things the way I am is because I wanted to try to get the FTL drive up so I can jump before the solar flare fires off and I have part of my ship lit on fire. I don't have much in the way of shields right now. I can't do any ship editing at the moment because reasons. No store, then there, then there, then there. Store is safe, so that'll be fine. Identifying a Mantis trading post. You signal them so that your approach won't be taken as a threat. The leader hails you. You have scrap? Quickly, come dock before the warriors see you. All right, so we can hire our last crew member. Uh, we've got one person who is level two shields, one person who's level three piloting. Not bad. And one person who's level three weapons. Hmm. Thinking the pilot if I was going to hire him. We can also pick up drone control. Which, this one comes with a combat drone. That's a little better. Cloning bay, which is not useful for us. And a crew teleporter, which... Not the worst thing anymore. I'm going to pick up Shelton, for sure. Um, uh, Race Schultz, you're going on down. We have people everywhere. Um... You're going to go here. Why not? We have a better pilot now. That increases our evasion even further. Go ahead and save positions. Now, do we want to upgrade shields twice? Or do we want to buy something from the store like a teleporter? I really don't want to buy a teleporter. I like the idea of this being a non boarding run. I'd like to buy a teleporter. We are going to look at upgrading other. We will do that <laughs> for now. Well, actually, set it like that for now because we don't necessarily need all of our shield right away because of the Zoltan shield. Another store down there. Drat. Should have checked first. Oh well. Gonna jump to it anyway. Maybe they'll have something more useful. Yeah, I wish I would have saved scrap. I probably would have bought my control. Since I actually do have a person stationed in sensors, thus I can actually see what the other ships are doing. Uh, we could sell the stun beam. That'll get us another 22. Probably do that. I am not going to Or the stun bomb. Still not enough to buy anything else. Oh well. Alright, what do we got? A rebel ship is guarding this beacon. What are a pursuit course? I'm prepared to scratch a, scratch up a more. Easy for me to say. Alright. Black weapons. Ion bomb shields. Air halberd beam for hitting this. Beam. Do I get everything? There we go. And you know what? We're also going to anti-bio beam. Those three. 
You're powering up your FTL. All right, they are offering a weapon pre-igniter, which we already have, unfortunately. Six fuel, one drone, and 73 scrap. I'm going to accept it just because I've been nice. Take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. Your ship already has this augment and it cannot stack. You break it down into scrap. Wish I'd be able to sell it. It's worth quite a bit more. Oh well, it's a lot of scrap. Two distress signals. Time to do everything. Do another power. It's default at two shield now instead of defaulting it. Start hitting the stress signals. In Mantis Zone, they're much more likely to be faint. Speaking of, you arrive at the beacon, immediately detect a pirate ship. It seems this stress stress ah, it seems this distress beacon was a trap. And they're cloaking. Fine. They're cloaking is higher level. Much higher level, actually. Holy crap. Should have timed that better. Alright. Iron bomb, shield, black, weapons. Bird beam. Like that. Bio beam. That. Oh, they actually have a med bay. I didn't even know. Or I'm beam limit. I don't like dealing with cloaks. Oh yeah, they were starting to run low on oxygen. Uh, let's see, just flack their shields. Aim like that. Anti bio beam. Bring up their FTL. They're offering me no. That's a terrible offer. Go away. Yes, that's more scrap, thank you. I know I'm trying to be nice, but they tr pretended to be something they weren't. Room. All right, uh, leveling up some things. So leveling up cloak is not a bad idea. Now that I'm seeing that some enemies already have higher level cloak, we still aren't really using hacking. It's probably because we're low on power. Definitely increasing power. That's always useful. That'll do for me. Let's go to the other distress beacon, or is it a distress beacon? Your face says? Looks like it might be real. Find the resource of a distress call, a small research station. Appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Their fire suppression system is not responding. Remember what I said about Rock a couple episodes ago? Was it last episode? I don't remember which. Where they're immune to fire? Well, we have blue text for sending my Rock crew member in. Your Rock soldier tears through the airlock directly into the fire. You've never seen someone that large move that fast. Disperses the fire suppress as much fire suppressant as possible into the heart of the blaze, and eventually the fires start to die down. <laughs> With most of the fire under control, 
The st scientists are able to help secure the station. They offer you their sincere gratitude and a generous reward. We have a battery charger without a battery. Cool. Uh, that's probably not a worse bad option, but I'm going here. I can see everything. There's nothing here. Cool. Uh, no more stores. And get hit there, there, and that's it. At this point, you almost expect to fight to Mantis, but this beacon appears to be entirely devoid of other ships. You take your time to catch your breath. Double check the ship's engines. Ah, uh, nope, nope, engines are at full. Multiple beacons in a row with nothing. That's suspicious. I know it's just random, but whatever. It's suspicious. Oh, a ship refueling station. Well, if I actually needed fuel, this is really cheap. I think I have enough fuel for the entire rest of the game. Let's go to the next sector. We're almost at the end. Uh, we've already been to one Enki-controlled sector, so we're going to go to a Zoltan-controlled sector this time. They're actually slightly harder to deal with, but I'm just following them. Also, receive them. All right. Zoltan, patrol their borders, but let you pass when you ID as Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. We have a store immediately, so I think we're going to go there. As much as I would like to walk around, I think I, I need to go to a store. Zoltan are fascinated by other species and have set up something of an alien knick-knack shop here. Ah, take a look. All right, so we have awesome weapons. We've got some crew. John is really good at manning weapons, but... We're maxed out on crew, hence why they're grayed out. Um, we're also maxed out on other things. Stealth weapons. Ooh. So first off, we don't have a battery charger. There's no reason for us to hold on to it. <coughs> <coughs> and then not selling any rooms here. Otherwise, it might have been worth, say, buying a battery. So swarm missiles are interesting because basically the longer that you hold on to them, the more missiles they're all. But a pre-igniter only charges it once if I double check. I don't feel like buying it to double check. Ion stunner? It's an ion cannon. We don't need one. We have an ion bomb. Oh, laser. It's more pew pews. It's not really worth it compared to what we have now. I mean, it's the same amount of number of shots as our um, black one, except it takes one additional power. It takes longer. It does do more damage, but not much more. It only does one extra damage on systemless room specifically, so it's not worth it. Those that stealth weapons means that we can go in stealth and fire at the same time. That sounds great. Fire suppression is not really all that I learned. We're getting stealth weapons. Um, not an immediate store nearby. Well, actually, now that we have that, that actually makes a whole lot of sense. a ridiculous ship. All right. We pick up a Zoltan life raft floating in space. Its inhabitant asks you to retake his ship from the pirates who recently commandeered. I am certain it is clear, he concludes, that you must not destroy my vessel in the process. All right. I think we can do that, maybe. All right. We're going to cloak, but we're also going to start firing at will. We're just going to have things explode. The things that are shorter charge. Oh, we actually can get the wave. Um, only two. Ah, 
Drat. They got their shield off first. Uh, drone part on their shield. Bring their shields. Shield. Two shield. Fire. Aim. Rat, die bio beam. That. Oh crap! They do actually have. Uh, ion. Lap. All right. All I need to do is kill that one Zoltan. Which should be possible with a combination of the Ion Beam and the Anti-Bio Beam. I'm going to take some hits, though. Bio. Done that in a different order. Bomb is ready. I need to time that better. I'll just let it happen. Okay. At least with the Ion Bomb and Anti-Bio Beam, I'm not actually doing damage to the ship, so I'm less concerned. Um, we need shields. Actually. That makes sense. Turn those off. Shields up. Yep, we actually took a little bit. Fine. Damn it. Not working hard. At least I have enough shield where this isn't as big of a deal anymore. Okay, let me of doing this. Really, I wish I would have damaged that, but I can't can damn it. Get a flack up. Benefit of having that type of thing happen. Um... Prevent them from entering. Three that, one that. Bio beam. They have two power on their. Realize that. That makes this a lot harder. At that point, it might have actually been a better idea for me to go after their oxygen. But it's too late now because I can't reliably damage it. Uh, Halberd Beam does two points of damage per room. I can't even do that. Not without shields being back up. And that's not what I... I should have put my hacking into a different. I think of the only way I can do this. Let them back in and get them stuck in that room. That's the only option that I have. Also, if they get one more shield up, it's actually safe for me to guard them. I 
actually recur after a while. Build. There. Haxor? No, not Haxor. Damn it. I already messed it up. That was stupid of me. I needed to flack them first. Well, did it! Hooray! The last pirate sci life signs blink out, and the Zoltan returns to his bridge. Egalitarianism is a cornerstone of successful cohabitation. Please, enjoy the fruits of the I get 80 money and a... What is it, boo? And a reverse ion field. So, now I have to decide whether I'm keeping the reverse ion field or the stealth weapons. Reverse ion field protects my ship from ion damage. 50% chance of negating it entirely. I'm going to keep the stealth weapons just because I just built myself up that way, which is unfortunate because the reverse ion field is really nice. Alright. We took one or two points of damage. That's not too bad. We took one. Okay. Let's get our weapons back online. First, I have a store nearby. Yep. More power. Work. All right. Well, I mean, Albert Bean. We'll go Flak Albert. Um, the order, by the way, matters for damaging purposes, so if this gets hit by some type of damage, the anti-bio beam is going to be the thing that goes offline. Uh, in addition, the Zoltan energy buffs start here and work their way up. So the order actually matters quite a bit on the ship. Normally it wouldn't matter quite this much. I'm going to backtrack a little bit. All right. Large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Sure. We took five damage to hull. And things are on fire. Cool. All right. Welcome to FTL. that close everything reopen let things air out slightly that's yeah, probably good jump want to go that far back yeah i still want to hit those if i can i think that makes sense. we're gonna do that Asteroid belt. We arrive in an asteroid field are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. You don't have time for this. That's a pretty beefy ship, actually. Um, I don't remember if Ion Bomb does anything. There we go. Did something. And sure, they just repair it right back up. All right. Let the bomb up. I can hopefully ion their shields. Okay, that's going to get ioned. Black their weapons. We're going to end up halberd beaming to hit their oxygen. Or we're actually going to hit these three. Uh, can do that actually. That sounds like a better corner here and 
way. Anti bio beam. One bomb. Oh, oh. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up just killing them at this rate. Which is unfortunate, but yeah. The problem is that they have to deal with the asteroid belt like I am. Um Black One could potentially kill them. Yeah, they're gonna be dead at this rate. Uh Yeah, anything I do is going to kill them. Other than I am not. And the anti-bio beam can't go through shield. There we go. Got two of the whole time. We're down to one who's at max health. Yes, I would actually like them to have shields. I can time things if push comes to shove. I'm going to let them try to. Max or their oxygen. Problem solved. I should probably add That'll work. They're going to run out of oxygen, so it's fine. I can take their hits. That's not a big deal. Well, it was actually right there. I mean, all of their crews currently dead, unless they had the thing stop that. Ooh. Look out of that. Should be able to kill. Don't get to have oxygen. I will also ion your. You hacksword me. That thing. Oh, you're gonna die. I should have thrown more power into the cloak. That was silly. Yep, you're dead. That should be enough to completely kill you. Some more power into engines, so I don't have to worry too much. There we go. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip it of useful materials. A more scrap. All right. I did take one hit. Or no, I didn't. That was from earlier. All right. <coughs> Let's jump. Go up to the nebula. Just a regular nebula. That's drone isn't looking for you. Perhaps it's scouting ahead for rebel expansion. Or maybe they're just seeking to use this nebula for cover. Regardless, it identifies you as hostile. That's a lot of shield on there. Well, uh, that's useless. <laughs> I 
I'm going to Hexor their drones. Uh, actually, their weapons are not okay, too. Oh, actually, I can Hexor that. Cloak Hexor. Ion Bomb Weaponry. Black. Sorry. Ion Bomb Shields. Black Shields. Albert Beam Prepping for Ready. Slice our way through. That should help some. Doesn't help with the weapon situation at all, unfortunately, but eh, we don't need oxygen. Oh. oh, yeah, that's right. I can keep hitting flak. I'm not trying to keep the ship. Oh, I also blew up one of their drones. Nice. Uh, it was fine. It was a bit of work. That's fine. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Even more scrap. Alright. We should look at upgrading them. I can upgrade shields to max. It'll cost me 180. Oh, before I do that... Okay, no, there's not a storage. Um, I make sure this will cost 200. I don't actually have enough for that. Let's actually have some oxygen. That sounds like a good idea. Oops. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. That. I like having a second pip of oxygen just in case. Go that. Oh, I will. I think I'll be fine. Intruders on board. Close everything. You put Zoltan intruders on my ship. You idiots. Um, can't door right now. Oh, I forgot to power up the anti-bio beam before I went. Oh, well, I'll just blow this one up. Does not really matter what I hit with this. Got rid of two of the Zoltan. Bolts is going to be in pain for a bit. When they blow up, they blow up hard. Schultz report to Medbay. Um, go ahead and pour up Medbay. Everything is powered on. We're going to hit shields, shields. Albert Beam. Or no, I can't. Not unless if three. Yes. Bio beam can't be used right now because they still have shields up. Okay. Keep hitting. Beam, get rid of those three. Poof, poof, poof. Nice. Gonna stop auto. Well. Fix. That would not be enough to kill them, but pretty close. 
Team Shield. High bio beam. Slice. There we go. There are no more life signs remaining on the ship. You strip a bit of useful materials. I am doing a boarding strategy without boarding. This is really interesting. Getting a whole bunch of reward. Unfortunately, I'm using up a lot of my missiles. Hurts. Um. Hmm. Oh, wow. I think that this will be the last sector of this video, and the last video is just going to be the final sector. I'll be right back. All right. Location requiring me to use the restroom more often. Oh, let's go ahead and go down here. Stumble across some Zoltan military vessels engaging in combat training. Their energy shields are impressive, but you know how quickly beam and ion weapons take them down. Oh yeah, I forgot to actually heal. Oh, Zinzin's actually. Let's... Zinzin, please report to Medbay. Zinzin, report to the Medbay. All crew members, please return to your stations for and prepare for immediate FTL jump. And just like vocalizing that from time to time, it's fun. Go there so I can see the last of the beacons that I haven't seen. Cool there. Oop. Catch a glimpse of a strange signal coming from a space station before your sensors shut off unexpectedly. As you discover your sensors being jammed, you hear hostiles beam aboard your ship. They must have super shield bypass unit. Boarders are on board. For some reason, they always have a super shield bypass unit whenever this event happens, or these style of events happen. We're going to counter the remote hacking, though. All right. Where are you, boarders? Uh. Hey. Guys are idiots. Just saying. Gonna open up the rest of the route too. Keep it all like that. Nope. Goodbye. I'm afraid you are the weakest link because you idiots boarded my ship and I am notorious for... Doors are the most powerful weapon in FTL, by the way. Uh, it's been a running joke in the community for a long time now. Let's go ahead and have people turn to ship. I will go ahead and increase oxygen increase, so we don't have to sit here for it. It's the other reason why two pips in oxygen is not a bad idea. There we go. All right. Good. Close all doors. Jump to store. Why I want I'm going to jump there, then store. So I have more money, hopefully. Jump into a debris field that used to be a Zoltan cruiser. Unfortunately, it's Engie Escort that takes you for the attacker and retaliates. They refuse all hails. So Engies frequently have a large number of drones. Yeah, they do have a droning, droning bay. Yes, they have a droning bay. They also have a hacking bay. So four Engie aboard. Okay, um, best bets. Iron bomb shields. Black shields. They don't have any healing aboard. So that's going to help. Hmm. 
Oof, that's a lot of drone protection. This might be harder than I thought. A combat drone, defense drone, and a second defense drone. Drones? I don't think that's going to work. I think they'll just... Yeah, that's what I thought. Because that counts as a drone for purposes of the anti-combat drone, even though it's not really supposed to. Gonna wait until every. If it's only one damage, it's something. Bio beam. You two die. Okay. Meow. I knocked out one of the defense drones at least. That's going to help. Still going off. Power from shields to engines, so I have a 51% chance of dodging any given hit. That's a lot of laser blasts. Go ahead and flack the shields again. Kill the two of you, or at least head with damage. All right, shields are offline. Powered shields. Damage to their shields. Uh, I need to anti-bio beam. Two of them. Only two crew members left. Take weight of damage, then. You're hacking my oxygen? Don't. That's actually useless at this point. We'll increase oxygen saturation. That way, when they hack it, it's less of a problem. Work. Yeah. I basically need to rely on the ion bomb to do. Got it. There we go. With the crew dead, you're able to take the fuel out of storage. Take all the scrap you can manage. All right. That hurt a little. Pride, mostly. Got oxygen. I've got everything that I need to start with. Let's go to that store and find out what's going on. What do you have for sale, store? My friends! Please, there is nothing I don't have. And there is nothing worth wanting that I can't get. Why not take a look at it? So, it looks like they have an assortment of weaponry, none of which are really all that useful to me. I'll go ahead and repair my ship a little bit. It's expensive, but no. Actually, no, no, this is fine. Small bomb.
I'll repair one. Because we're going to have to exit. <coughs> and yeah. Let's reach the exit beacon. You recognize the ship as a well known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers cheap. Well, slaver scum. Ooh, that's a combat turn too, isn't it? That's moving fast. Um Cloning Bay. Ugh. Go cloak before they hit us. Knock out shields. Bird beam is gonna go like And get it off in time. Uh, surrender's not an option. I will take you all out. Or why? Where'd my iron bomb go? Was that uh, set to automatic? Ugh, I did not mean to ion bomb the weapons. Okay, this might not work. I might just hack all of them. Actually, no. I can hack them. Because I can hack or their cloning bay. That should start working. Albert Beam's not useful. Do that. off their clones and it's actually relatively safe for me to flack them because I can only do three damage there are other one of those Let clones die that uh, drat one of them got a piece of crap And bomb their shield. I'm just going to destroy them. For it. Sorry, slaves. Slave ship is destroyed. It won't continue the evil trade, but many lives were probably lost on that. It's unfortunate, but I couldn't save them because they their ship was too heavily damaged. I should have been a little more careful. All right. That is it for this particular episode i hope you've enjoyed this and next episode is sector eight the final sector talk to you next time bye